Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part three of my jQuery and Ajax tutorial. This video is a response to an email I received stating that I did not show every possible way to select elements using jQuery. So in this presentation, I will do just that. So what exactly will be covered? I'll show you every option available to you for selecting elements with jQuery. In jQuery, you surround the type of element you are looking for with the jQuery selector, which is represented here by a dollar sign followed by both an opening and a closing bracket. The elements that fit your description can then be manipulated in bulk with numerous functions that come with the jQuery selector. I'll now show you the codes you can use in concert with the jQuery selector to find any element on your web page. Just want to make sure you understand that you would place these following codes inside of the jQuery selector. In the place of the letters that I am now going to describe, think instead of these letters as tags that you are going to be searching for. Now, if you just simply put a tag in here represented by the letter X, it will match all elements with the tag named X. The third bulleted item will match all children elements with the tag Y that lie in the element X. And the fourth bulleted item, this matches all children elements with the tag Y that are direct children of the element X. And finally, this will match all elements of tag Y that are immediately preceded by a sibling of type X. This code in the first bulleted item will match all elements of tag Y that are preceded by a sibling X. And by siblings, what I mean is, let's say you have a div element, and inside of that div element, you have an H1 header element and a paragraph element. They both lie in the same div, hence they are siblings. The second bulleted item will match all elements of tag X that contain an element of type Y. In the third, will match all elements of type X that have a class name of Y. In the fourth bulleted item, this will match all elements of type X with an ID of type Y. And finally, the fifth bulleted item will match all elements of type X with an attribute Y that can have any value. And in this bulleted item, this will match all elements of type X with an attribute of type Y that have the value assigned to Z in the second bulleted, this will match all elements of type X with an attribute of type Y that begins with the value assigned to Z. And finally, this code will match all elements of type X with an attribute of type Y that ends with the value assigned to Z. This is probably better understood in code examples, but it, this is the best way that I could show you every possible way to select elements. So if it's a little bit confusing, move on to the next tutorial where I'll explain a lot of this through the use of actual code that you can see working. Here in the first bulleted item, this will match all elements of type X with an attribute of type Y that contains the value assigned to Z. And finally, this last piece of code will match all elements of type X that contain the text string entered. Here I'm going to show you how to select elements based on position on the web page. If you use this code inside of a jQuery selector, it will return the first element of type X. The second one will return the last element of type X. The third bolded item will return the first child contained in the element X. Hence, the fourth will return the last child. And you can also return the Y child of the element X. Y could also be a mathematical formula that has a number as a result. First bolded item will return all even or odd elements of the element X. The second returns the Y element with the tag X on the web page. The third returns all elements that lie after Y on the web page. And the final returns all elements that lie before Y on the web page. And here is how you would be able to select form elements. This first bulleted item will return elements that are animated. The second returns elements that are buttons. The third returns elements that are checkboxes. The fourth returns elements that are checked. The fifth returns elements that are headers. And for example, here I show you what I mean by headers. And finally, this last piece of code will return elements that are hidden. First here returns elements that are images. Then the next one returns elements that are form elements. The third returns elements that have children elements. The fourth returns elements that are of type password. The fifth returns elements that are radio buttons. The sixth returns elements that are selected. And finally, the last returns elements that are of type text. That is every single way to select elements inside of jQuery. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how I made this page right here. I'm going to show you how we can add a little icon next to this email. Make the table a little bit prettier. Fix the table 
title so it's a little prettier. Mess with the fourth paragraph. Mess with all paragraphs in this div right here. Highlight the fourth. Find a paragraph based off of whether it has an attribute or not. And find the paragraph name third. All in the next tutorial. Till next time.